Christmas haul. Um, the the charger that I have is, I, mean, I could get the extension cord if anything, but the charger that I have is like one of the shortest shorter chargers. So this is as far as you're gonna get, which is fine. I don't think I get any further. Yeah, that should be good. So yeah, Christmas haul. It's gonna be in the f at least. I want to say because one of them hasn't even come in yet, um, but it's just like from family and stuff. But then we have like aunts and uncles coming today. So that'd be a second part. My cousin can't come today. I doubt he'd be able to drop off the gift. So that's going to be another part. And of course the book that's coming in. And tomorrow we're having people over too. So I'd say maybe four parts. Three or four parts. Hopefully three. It'd be nice if I got the gift early. But I doubt it. Alright, so let's get right into it. I do want to go in a, uh, in a special order. Uh, but first... Uh, Luther Strode. Now this one, this one was the one that I was pretty skeptical on. It's by Justin Jordan, who I'm not a huge fan of his writing, but this book, like every time I saw it, I wanted it even more. It was so weird, and, and I don't know why. It does look, it does look very interesting. Um, like the artwork looks really good, and it looks like it's going to be at least uh, action packed. You know, it won't be a whole bunch of dialogue. Um, it does look good, you know. And I mean, the one I read by Justin Jordan, the other one was the uh, what was it called? I, I, I reviewed it, too. Um, revival. No, not Revival. It was, like, Rever or Reviver. I don't know. Something like that. I know, I know it's, like, kind of one of those kinds of words. Like, an R-E-V word. I don't think it was Revival. I could be wrong. But, yeah, this... Oh, yeah, this one collects... Well, actually, six issues of three volumes. So, it's, like, Luther Strode 1, 1 through 6. Luther Strode two, Volume 2, 1 through 6. And the third volume, 1 through 6. 18 issues for 40 bucks. Which I find so funny because there's that darkness book that's 600 pages and it's 30 bucks. And this is like 500. It's they're both by image, too. That's why I didn't want to get it. I didn't want to spend 40 bucks on it. I would get it as a gift. Um, so we'll do that. Yeah, I'll do this one next. So this one, um, it's one that I... So for... I actually can't just say... But um, I got this one... It's a, there's a lot of double dipping for other books, and that is the Blackest Night Omnibus. This is, as of right now, until the Avengers vs. X-Men one comes out, the thickest omnibus ever. 1,600 pages. That's a lot of pages. And I would say almost 600 of, of it, if not more, is double dipping with the Green Lantern omnibuses one, uh, 2 and 3. But I want to... No, I think it's just 2. I wanted to get this one because it has one through three of that Blackest Night Untold Tales or whatever, or whatever it's called. And I feel like the Green Lantern Omnibus Volume 2 only collects two issues, if that. I did the math, and it was like, that doesn't add up. So I'm hoping this one does have it. Let's open this up. I'm not going to try and find it. Um, oh, where's my, trusty dust, where's my trusty dusty knife? Oh, and spoilers, the book that hasn't come in yet is Green Lantern Omnibus... Uh, sorry, not Green Lantern. It's Green Arrow Omnibus Volume 2, which I'm so excited for. That one, like... Even though I haven't read the first volume yet, it's just one I'm really excited for. Um, because it's a, it's a good series, too. It's a Mike Grail series that everyone seems to like. I do I do like that era. Uh, it's like, late 80s, when DC was trying to get, like, more mature content out there. But not, like, too mature, I don't think. Although both are 17 and up, so. Um, of course, I'm playing Christmas music now. And my dog is running with it. My dog got a new toy, so you hear her running. All right, I guess I'm going to get this. I don't know where my knife went. I'll probably find it. I'm just, again, get too excited and I can't even look. Good. Here we go. I got it at least. So definitely, this is the... Except for one, and again, another spoiler, um, except for one, all the gifts are going to be DC books, which is really funny. So let's open this up. And what's kind of funny, too, oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> I realized the other one was uh, soft cover. I was like, oh, I could do it on the dust track. I didn't do it for the other one, but no, I did. Because it wasn't one. It wasn't one. And what's good about this one is it has the entirety of Blackest Night, like every issue, which is kind of weird because on Comixology, when you click up like a black, like Blackest Night one, they'll say part one of 76. There's no way in hell this collects 76 issues. It might, but I don't think it does. 
All right, so this one collects Blackest Night 0 through 8, Blackest Night Tales of the Core 1 through 3. Untold Dead, so one that I only had two of on the, in the Green Lantern Omnibus. Uh, and one, they're all by Jeff Johns, too, so I wanted them. Uh, Untold Tales of Blackest Night, issue one. It's a one-shot, but one of them, how would have you believe there's two of them? I think actually it was the Green, uh, it was the Green Lantern Omnibus that said it. Green Lantern, 43 to 52. Double dipping. Uh, Green Lantern Core, 39 to 47. Blackest, oh, that's it's good. Not a whole lot of double dipping there, I don't think. Blackest Night, Batman, one through three. Blackest Night, Superman, one through three. Blackest Night, Wonder Woman, 1 through 3. Um, Flash, 1 through 3, Blackest Night. Blackest Night, Titans, 1 through 3. Blackest Night, JLA, 1 through 3. Sorry, this is so hard to see. Adventure Comics, 4, 5 through 7. Um, Superman, 80, right? Yes. No, 81. I don't know why this print is so hard to see. It's like, the best color you can have it at, and like, it's, does it, all right, the power of Shazam, 48, the question, 37, Phantom Stranger, 47, 40, sorry, 42, Catwoman, 83, Wonder Woman, uh, sorry, I did, <laughs> I read, not, not Wonder Woman, uh, Weird, Western Tales, 71, Green Arrow, 30. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna get my, get my phone. I cannot, it's just like small print. I don't know, my glasses aren't that filthy. I'm not looking for the glass that, like, it's super filthy. So let's do this. Of course, I'm gonna declare. Okay. It's much better, though, actually. Western Tales, Green Arrow, 30. The Adam and Hawkman, 46. The Adam and Hawkman is by Jeff Johns, which I found funny. Yeah, I'm a Jeff Johns Green Lantern completist apparently, and I do want to. I did, Blackest Night is one of those uh, event event books that I kind of do want to read the entirety of. I think the Brightest Day Omnibus. And I actually think I said this before. Um, has one through twenty four. I think it's just the Blackest Night, like the solo series. You know. Uh, I'll do this one next. Oh, sorry, an, an, a dust jacket of Blackest Night. Let's do that before I go. Um, yeah, that's the complete collection on the bus, so it has to be the complete collection. And it includes the tie-ins, too. Yeah, it kind of does include tie-ins. So that's that. And that's that. Yeah, thickest on the bus so far. I, I, I don't, I'm probably, keep stuttering. I probably am going to get that Avengers vs. X-Men one. Because I did, I did like the first few issues of that series. I like his follow-up series, All New X-Men. This is, it's by Brian Michael Bendis, so... My Brian Michael Bendis is pretty, like, like, I, that's probably the best way of telling that I have a kind of a, not the best opinion on comics. I mean, I'd say it's above others, but, you know, I think Brian Michael Bendis is where I kind of like, yeah, no, you know what, actually? No. But I hated his, um, uh, I think it was a, no, it wasn't, it wasn't Invent with Life, and I, I didn't like that one too much either. There were a couple I didn't like by him. I'm not like a Brian Michael Bendis fanboy. Hell no. I will not read his Superman. Oh, is his... Uh, Legion of Superheroes I didn't like. I think it's the first time. Oh, yeah, to show it first. This one, um, and another one. They're both by Tom King. One of I haven't gotten yet. It's from, hopefully, I did get it. Uh, it's from an aunt. Um, which is coming today. Um, they're both by Tom King. First one, and I guess you can, you can probably guess the other one. They came out the same day, and they're both 12-issue miniseries. But the first of the two is Strange Adventures. Now, this one, I read the first time, and I was just so bored with it. I read the second time, and I was like, I'm hooked. Like, like actually hooked. Like, when you read, like, a paper bag, you know, page turner. I, I was so, such a complete turnaround. So, I'm definitely gonna... It's fine with the first one I'll, first one I'll read. This one collects 1 through 12 of Street Adventures. I'm doing the dust jacket. Oh, and I like how this looks like, oh my god, my book came in terrible condition. But it's supposed to look like that. I think they're trying to make it look like that book that you, like, they read so much that it's, like, creased everywhere. You know, like, oh, I read this book so many times. You can tell. And what's funny is that you can see right here, it almost looks like it's water damaged. 
kind of can't see it in the, with the good light. Um, but that's again, like that's the aesthetic. And then here too, it's even better. See? And it's signed by Adam Strange, guys. It's worth so much money. <laughs> I am going to double check to make sure it is 1 through 12. I don't think they collect the director's cut. Yeah, just 1 through 12. Okay. It says single magazine form. The Doomsday Clock one and a few others would say all new material. It's like, no, it's not. <laughs> I mean, technically all new material. So this is this side. This is the other side. This is the spine. It's pretty thick. It's kind of thick one. Um, I just thought it'd be as thick as Doomsday Clock because Doomsday Clock is a twelve issue mini series, but I think Doomsday Clock um, is. No, I don't, I don't think it is. And what's also funny is that most of these are seventeen and up too, which is kind of funny. So my cousin, my cousin, my nephew cannot read any of these yet. I mean, the Blackest Night one, but he'd be kind of, he'd be kind of confused. I mean, he only looked at the artwork, but actually some of these have nudity, nudity in it, so that wouldn't be a good idea. Alright, so let's do... Yeah, let's do this one first. I'll do that one. Then I've got these. So this one is probably... If I had to pick out of all of them, this one is probably tied with Green Arrow. As the one that I was like super, super, super excited for. Obviously, excited to get all of these. None of them, like, I was like, Ugh. maybe Black as Night, but only because it's double dipping. But this one was a series I was loving so much at the local library. They had volume one, and Intro Loans, I'm glad I looked it up, didn't have the rest of the series. I didn't want to get an end on a cliffhanger or anything like that, so I was like, you know what? I'll just read volume one, and that is 100 Bullets Omnibus, volume two. Volume, sorry, Volume 1. Volume 2 is not coming out until June. And I wasn't waiting for that, so I got Book 4 of 100 Bullets, Book 5, and because they just had to do this, the Brother Lano 8-issue miniseries. So I have all of 100 Bullets before that fucking omnibus comes out in June. I think it got delayed, because it was supposed to come out in January. I could have read it wrong, but I thought January was when it was supposed to come out. But it got delayed. Like, with that, super, like that, that Superman, um, uh, Superman, not Omnibus, uh, Superman Men of Steel Volume 4, which I'm really pissed off about, because I would have gotten January 18th. I actually, if I had gotten any uh, gift cards today, I always would have pre-ordered it right, right then and there. But now I have a bunch of other, th other shit to get, so it's not that bad. I mean, March isn't, like, terrible, but I don't know. It's only like two months. <laughs> not not even two months, because it's January 18th was when it was supposed to come out. I mean, first it was, I was supposed to have it by now. It was supposed to be October. And I got delayed twice. I don't know why. Alright, so 100 Bullets, Omnibus, Volume 1. Does it say what it collects right in the back? Yeah, it does. Okay, this one collects 1 through 58 of the award winning series. Yeah, award winning series, definitely. Like, all the awards. And then the Merry Christmas Bitches. Ha, get it? From Vertigo Winter's Edge, issue 3. And then a special spit sketchbook section from Edward, Eduardo Rizzo. Awesome. I, I almost... There was a Batman by uh, Azarello and Edward Rizzo. Uh, hardcover. Not on the bus. Just a regular ass hardcover. And I think it's oversized, though. And it's in black and white. And I was like, why? Why would you guys do that? This makes no sense whatsoever to me. And it's originally in color, too. And like, Bone, where it's in... I actually might get that Bone black and white complete series. Because uh, Bone was originally in black and white. I, I'd rather... like I, I want to read a book in its original printing, you know? If it's in color, I want to read it in color. If it's black and white, I want to read it in black and white. You know? And of course, if the color edition is cheaper, and it's hardcover, like with Bone, but it's not cheaper, um, I'd get that. Okay, so let's do Under the Dust Jacket... But yeah, just one of my favorite series that I never finished. You got the little hands there. You got the spine. And on the back, nothing. Pretty uh, standard. I don't know why they didn't just do like what a lot of other hardcovers do. And you got this on the front. And then the little hands thing on the back. You know? That would been perfect. Just did nothing. It's a complete waste of space. Maybe I can get it signed by... Actually, I probably could get it signed on the back. But it would rub off. Pretty rub off. I might get the signed, actually. 
But it's a thick ass book. No, I probably wouldn't. If I, if I got a double of it, I would. But I don't think a double. I don't think anybody else is gonna give me this thick ass omnibus. I think it's safe to say that. But yeah, so happy they got this. And I got the rest of the ones. I thought Brother Wano wouldn't come in. I, I sent my I sent what I do is I sent my parents uh, links to Amazon and then a Word document and I sent it to them. And then they buy them. And this year, because I, I, I did go pretty cheap. But, like, you know, not too cheap. Alright, so, I did a 58. Okay, so this one, this is book 4. Collects. 59 to 80. Which is so nice. And there's, like, a... Oh, there's the story arcs. Which is nice, because it's right, right after the omnibus. That is, like, perfect. That's the only reason why I got these books. It was, it's because it's right after. I don't think it had any annuals. And then book five, yeah, I can get my dog running with her new ball. Um, 81 through 100 of this one, which is so awesome because that's 100 issues of the series. There's a little bit, there's some creases on this one, and one of them has, like, a, actually, one that has, it, like, a dent on the back. But I've gotten soft cover, the soft cover this thick. Would be in terrible condition, usually. But Amazon was like, you know what? It's Christmas, let's actually be considerate about it. And then Brother Lano is 1 through 8. There's a little thing right here. Again, I, if it's not, if there's no tears, I'm fine with it. But there's a tear, and I'm pissed. Even if it's like in, even if it's like right here, like at the edge, where you wouldn't open the book that, that far anyways. If you open a book past like this little thing, you can't like see on this one, but past this, that little thing, your book's gonna fall apart anyways. You always wanna just open it like this. You never go beyond that. Yeah, I wanna say this is one through eight. I, I know it's one through eight. I just wanna check to make sure. But yeah, I guess what happened was they had like a follow-up series. I would like to see a follow-up series, honestly. It's an anthology series, unless something big happens. I, I, I don't know what happens at the end, so do not spoil it for me. Uh, yeah, one through eight. Um, but I think they could keep going, you know? It's, it's an anthology series. You don't... Slight, slight spoiler. You don't follow the same characters. He kind of goes to other characters. But it's slight spoiler. And then... Do this one. We're kind of almost done. But a lot of these are omnibuses, so there's a reason why it's so kind of... I mean, it's, it's like, when you stack them all, it's pretty, it's pretty heavy, but, um, that's why it's only, like, eight or so. Again, I don't care. Oh, sorry. Superman, Batman, Generations, Omnibus. This is one that came out a long, long time ago, like, February. And I could have afforded it. It's actually 43 bucks right now. And it's an omnibus. It's, it's a thinner omnibus. It's only 75 bucks list price. Um, I was really skeptical to get this one, but I'm a John Burns Superman completist. So I was like, you know what? Let's get this ahead of time. Uh, the reason why... Oh, I like this. The reason why I was so skeptical was because I heard it wasn't too great, but the first one was. Everyone likes the first first uh, series. And the first series, is only, only, you only get it in like a, a paper, paperback collection. I think the paperback is like super expensive too. In fact, I'll look it up in a second. So I was like, you know what? What the hell? Why not get it? 43 bucks. Perfect. It's that. Yeah. yeah, it's that. So I, what I really like about this book is that it's apparently like, it follows, it's like real time. So when Superman like is born, or is arrives at, in 1939, he ages along with, you know, with the years. I always like when books did that. Um, oh yeah, and I got a Bluetooth speaker too. I don't know if I'm ever going to use it. I'm going to use it right now, but I'm just going to check out that. Superman, Batman, Generations one. But, um, again, I'm a, I'm a John Byrne completist, so I was like, the hell with it. I got the other one for free, that, uh, Krypton one. So I was like, you know what? I only need one more. Because I don't think I'm ever going to get that, um, Green Lantern. Not Green Lantern. The, uh, DC Universe by Jeff, uh, by Jeff Johns. By, um, what's his face? Alright, so this one's the first one. Actually, it's 10 bucks, but used good, so. And the Max Margaret paperback is 50 bucks. So let's see if I can find a new one. Acceptable, good, good. Problem with, I, I really want to know what acceptable looks like with a soft cover. Like new is 30 bucks, so pretty much, yeah, 30 bucks. 
a very good a collectible. It's thirty five. New is sixty bucks. So or sixty nine bucks. Eh, nice. So yeah, I was it's was, it was kind of a no brainer. Do I want to get the first series? And this has all of them. You know, I could be I could be the one. I could be the odd, the one percent that actually likes it, you know, all three series. Um, but yeah, so the other one, it was the DC Universe by John Byrne. And I was supposed to collect the Metropolis series and the Smallville series, they're both four issues, but it doesn't. It, Amazon says it does, but Amazon is you know, lying. And this one collects um, the first one, one through four, Generations two, one through four, and then Generations 3, 1 through 12, which is awesome, because that makes it worth the money. Because, like, 12 plus 4 plus 4, that's a really good number. Is it 18, right? Yes. No. Yes? 14. Sorry, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. No, 19, 20. 20 issues. That's awesome. For Marvel, that'd be 100 bucks. At least. It would not be 75. There are $75 on the buses are, like, not even complete collections. Like, smaller, smaller than Luther Strode. Like, you know, your normal complete, like, 400 pages, that's it. That's the Captain America one. But they do have a, Stark, a Doctor Strange one coming out, but only because it's second print and they want to keep the same same cover price as before. Uh, this one's going to be impossible to get out. Alright, um, here, here's my little thing here. How long are we going for? 21 minutes. The second uh, part will probably be pretty quick. If I don't like how this part comes out, but I don't like how it comes out, as how it's coming out so far, um, I'll just, uh, although there's a lot of noise, but I'll just put it in one part, like along with the other book I'm getting. Because, yeah, and, and if I'm doing the math correctly, so to speak, um, only one more gift is coming in today. And maybe two, I doubt it. I'll ask. Let's see with these. Because they're quarantined, but. There was one that isn't that doesn't have COVID, and I think he might be able to get it. It's a cousin, maybe. I doubt it though. Oh yeah, sorry. This one is Batwoman on the bus. So happy to get this. This is all of Greg Rucka's critically acclaimed run, and no Batwoman elegy cover. So I'm gonna give that Batwoman the two Batwoman books I have like the <laughs> stuck uh, to that to the library guy. And no, I did not get any Christmas gift from him yet. Yet. But he, I think what, he, it'd be kind of funny if he and I, like, exchange gifts. Like, oh, I got a new printing. Here's the older printing. Oh, yeah, same here, technically. You know? It'd be kind of funny. And this one collects... And they're all in the back, which is nice. This one collects Detective Comics 854, 854 to 863. Batwoman issue 0. And I say it again. Issue 0 to 24. New, new 52. Then the annual number one. But yeah, this is a series that I wanted so badly. And it was because... Okay, so this is, this is it for the books. I'm just going to prattle on about uh, how things change and what I wanted. Um, so, first off, I wanted the JSA Jeff Johns. Those went out of print, except for one. And the Hulks, volume four. So I'm going to get two, three, and... Sorry, two, three, and four. Four got to four. Four got delayed, and then I was like, you know what? I'll get these, and I'm happy with it. None of these I'm not happy with. Even Black as I'm happy with. You know, it's six hundred pages. I want to say at least, and then I'm sorry, not at least. I want to say the most. At the most, six hundred pages. But whatever, they're all free te technically. But Green Arrow Omnibus Volume Two, coming Tuesday. So that will be the well, that will be the next video. But next video is the other Tom King book. Spoilers. <laughs> That's it.